What is up guys, welcome back to Review Space. You know, I love racing video games. It's probably one of my favorite genres. I enjoy playing them, they're really fun. But why the heck do I need to buy Need for Speed Most Wanted, the recently released video game, when I already have this? Need for Speed Most Wanted from 2005. This is for the original Xbox. But it also came out for the 360 and the PS2. And look at this. It's still sealed. It's unopened. I haven't even freaking ripped open the plastic. And I have really no intention of playing this game. I mean, look at that. Xbox Certificate of Authenticity. Howtotell.com. And on the bottom, it says Electronic Arts. Trademark right there on the plastic. This is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I've had this game forever. And I've been meaning to open it and review it and play it, but I just never really got around to it. Because honestly, I don't need it. I don't want to play it. Because I have enough racing video games, especially cars, and racing them in a street-style, uh, street racing environment. I mean, the game looks decent enough, but it doesn't even look like a game that's like a must-have title. It doesn't look like a, a killer app. It doesn't look like one of these groundbreaking, awesome games. I mean, you go in Metacritic, the game is just like 85, 84, something like that. Which is a pretty good score, but it's not like a 9 or a 9.5 or a perfect 10. I have other games that I play that are higher scores and are better games than this, in my opinion. I have plenty of racing games to give me enough of that action. I mean, they had to reboot this freaking game? Why? Why reuse the title? I know it's a different game and it's like open world and obviously it's using up-to-date graphics and it's developed by Criterion, I think, which they made Burnout back in the day. And I understand it's a reboot, okay? The new one is a reboot. But I don't even care. I'm not interested in that garbage because it's a freaking reboot. I have no interest in them. Does Spider-Man need a reboot right away? I understand if this game is like 20 years old or 30 years old or something, or if it was in the future where it's, you know, like a few decades removed from this game, but why? It's only been seven years. And I understand that this game is relatively valuable. I mean, it's sealed right now, so I mean, this can probably fetch for around 40 bucks. That's right, $40. People are trying to sell this game for exorbitant prices online i mean you can find this game for 70 80 dollars if you look uh, on ebay and stuff like that that's ridiculous considering the game isn't really that rare it's not that exceptional so i don't understand why it's so freaking expensive to begin with and like i said who gives a crap about the reboot it's a freaking it's another most wanted game and another need for speed do we really need another need for speed really do we need another installment in this overrun franchise I mean, this is all I need right here. Yeah, look at this. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Came up for the GameCube. And this is a relatively early title too. Look at this, look, look at this. Look at the quality of the plastic, of the packaging. It's all torn up from overuse. I mean, I play this game so much and it's, it's in drab condition, but this game is all I need. I, this game is awesome. You know, it's so fun that I play it all the time. Came out in 2001. This, this game's fun as hell. I mean, I enjoy this game. And then they ended up remaking this title as well. They ended up re-releasing Hot Pursuit, like a reboot or whatever. I mean, th don't they have any new ideas? Why are video games following the trends of movies as well? Why do they have to remake games as well? Uh, again, I understand if the game is incredibly old, like from 15, 20 years ago. How about remaking or doing a reboot of Killer Instinct? How about that? Instead of need, oh, another Need for Speed, like we don't already have enough. You know, I had more Need for Speed games too. I had like Underground and Carbon and all this crap. And I, I didn't even want those anymore. I got rid of those. I mean, if you want really good car racing games, look at the stuff that I already have. I mean, look at this. Project Gotham Racing. Original Xbox, man. This was one of those launch titles. Good game, great graphics, still holds up to this day. Awesome title. We got here Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix, another good game. I love this game. I mean, this is probably one of my favorites in terms of street racing. I mean, it's an open world style game. 
it's freaking awesome and it's by Rockstar love the controls on it and then you have other games like freak style which is like an extreme uh, motorcycle racing type of thing very cartoony but very fun got project gotham racing 2 a sequel i mean what else do i play look at this f1 2002 this one came out way back in the day and this is a still a pretty fun game to play and whatever happened to f1 did they still make f1 games huh ea look at that ea sports god man Oh, there's another favorite right here. Burnout 3 Takedown. Burnout 3. Awesome, awesome game. One of the best street racing slash, you know, chaotic games ever. You get to destroy all the cars. I mean, I love that arcade -y feel. And you also, I mean, look at this. Forza Motorsport 2 for the 360. Another classic. Do I really need Need for Speed? Do we need another street racing game? Look at that. Even games like this. Look at this. Uh, even games like Mario Kart and freaking Wave Race. You know, for the GameCube. I mean, these games I still play to this day because they're fun as hell. I mean, this is all I need. Need for Speed can fuck off, man. Seriously. So, no, I'm not going to be buying another Need for Speed game. I'm sick of the franchise. I'm sick of the series. Who else is buying this stuff? Good God, there is no more Need for Speed. And they're going to come out with a movie. They're putting out a movie. I mean, it's like, why the hell would I even want to buy the, the remake or the reboot when I haven't even opened the original one from 2005, from seven years ago? How many more Need for Speeds are we going to get? I mean, really. I mean, Need for Speed is the Call of Duty of racing games. They come out pretty much every year or every like year and a half. There's no demand for it, really. It's not a uniquely superb series where every game gets like a 9, at least a 9 or a perfect 10 or something like that. I mean, come on. This is a pretty average racing game series. Some games suck ass and some games are relatively good. And according to the scores, this one is pretty good, but it's not outstanding. So I don't even I have no desire to play Most Wanted. It's a typical move by EA, okay? It's all electronic arts. It's all their decision. They've been running this franchise into the ground. There's no more need for it. And because it turns a profit every time they release one and people still buy it, that's the problem is EA has learned that, oh, as long as it's got need for speed on it, it's going to sell guaranteed. And we're going to make some money off of it, even though there's no freaking reason to buy any more of these good god ea sucks and i feel bad for battlefield because chances are they're just gonna milk battlefield as well i wouldn't be surprised if they put out a battlefield every year and a half where if they, if they remake like battlefield bad company and, and do a reboot of it and it's the same freaking storyline and the same characters but just better graphics ea fuck you